idea what it's like. How every day my real brother screams my name. Alright guys, so I did get to check out um Hands of Stone on a five dollar Tuesday. I would go check it out. You know what? My parents want to see it, so I let them choose this one. And I wasn't that disappointed after all. This movie is basically, you know, um, a true story of Robert, Roberto Duran. Um, you know, how he started, how he wanted to be a boxer. And, you know, it goes back from all the way when he was a young kid to all the way when he's a successful boxer. And then, you know, you see him grow up in, you know, basically each act of the movie. And he falls in love with a woman, which later becomes his wife. He has children, and, you know, he gets into this you know um into this boxing career with his trainer who is played by robert de niro in this movie and you know he has a very successful life he gets jealousy because he there's another boxer in town called i believe his name is sugar lee leonard who is surprisingly played by usher and you know not gonna spoil anything so i'm just gonna leave it at there where he gets jealous Okay, I heard about this movie a few months ago in a boxing game. I can't remember who was, you know, fighting that day. But I remembered they were like, Kansas Stone coming out on August 26th. It stars Robert De Niro and all that. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a good movie. It has Robert De Niro. It has to be good. Surprisingly, it was actually pretty good, but it has problems. And ways of introducing characters and some story problems. I love these boxing dramas. I really enjoyed Southpaw from last year. I loved Creed, I loved that movie to death, and this movie is, you know, um, I, I still prefer Southpaw and Creed and the first Rocky movie over this, but this is definitely quite a good movie, and for a boxing movie, it's pretty decent. Now again, I do like how this movie starts from um, Roberto's childhood, and then, you know, again, each act he gets older. And you see more him, you get more depth into his character. And again, they focus a lot on his character. It is his movie. And they focus on him a lot. And I really appreciate that because there are some moments where he's going through some um, mood swings, basically, in this movie. And, you know, they do a pretty good job at explaining why he feels this way. I can't remember the name of who played this character, Roberto Duran. But he did a very good job. And not just that, but the character who played his wife. Um, you know, the actress, she was in War Dogs a few weeks ago, which I didn't notice till like, a few days after I watched this movie, which is pretty crazy. And, uh, I like her better in this movie than War Dogs, even though I think that War Dogs is a better movie. But I thought that she did a great job playing this character. She, um, had a lot of, of emotions put into her character. I, I liked her character. She was very well developed, and she did a very good job. Oh sure, I thought he did a very good job in this movie, even though I do like his music career more than his acting career. I thought he did a really good job here, his character is very likable. And the main reason why half of us went to go see it, Robert De Niro. He did a fantastic job, I loved his character to pieces, his character is very likable. He is developed very well, probably my favorite character of the movie. But there were some scenes I felt that, like they were missing. Some scenes jumped from one scene to another. And it, felt, it feels like there's another scene in the middle that they never explained in this movie. And it really started to bother me after a while. I think that for the runtime, I don't think it was the best runtime um, that this movie could have went for. But maybe an extra 15-20 minutes. And they could have explained more of, you know, Roberto Duran's life. And there were some, you know, things that they were really missing from this movie. And, and it was just quite a problem that I was facing throughout this movie. But there were also some characters that were introduced very, very poorly. Um, even though I did admit that Robert De Niro's character was probably my favorite character in the whole entire movie. His character was introduced very poorly and very rushed. Um, right after they get from Roberto Duran's childhood, they go in into him as an, you know, older, much older person. And then they introduce Robert De Niro's character, but they introduce them very quickly. And I did not like at all how they introduced them when they could have taken more time 
and you know took a wise time to introduce this character and it was another thing that also quite bothered me because it didn't feel like they actually took enough time to introduce us to these characters or well not all the characters but some of these characters for what it is there are some very entertaining boxing scenes of course not in the levels of you know movies like rocky southpaw or creed but they're very ent entertaining and very well directed and you know you after a while you do feel like you get to know these characters a lot more even though some characters were introduced poorly but i'm going to give this movie my third highest rating which is matinee slash discount day worthy see it at a really cheap matinee or in discount day like a five dollar tuesday if your theaters have that support it's not doing too well at the box office but i think it's it's you know a movie that is quite well made it's not nothing spectacular but it's it's good um did you guys see hand stone if you saw it what you think about it did you love it did you hate it did you think it was okay tell me if you've seen it let me down in the comment section below anyways thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see what my next movie day is but anyways thank you very much and have a great day